Kai Chase was Michael Jackson's personal chef and was in the kitchen of the pop star's rented home on the morning that he died, and she is with us exclusively. Kai, good morning to Hi, you. Hi, good morning. Man. I'd love to start with this custody agreement. Uh, Catherine and Jackson will maintain custody of the children. Mm -hmm. You got to know them very well in the time that you were at their home. You've actually seen them since their dad's death. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is the right decision for these kids? I believe so. Oh, definitely. Um, I got a chance to see the children. A couple of weeks ago and just them in the home with with the mother the grandmother Catherine was a beautiful experience they had a chance to play with their cousins and you know they're having a great time they look wonderful they, they're happy and I think it's a great decision and seem very that's attached to the grandma yes that's their grandmother absolutely you, you know the, the, the birth mom of, of Prince Michael and and Paris the two older children Debbie Rowe has asked for and and will get meaningful visitations with the children so that they can get to know her did they ever bring up her name in the time that you were with them you know we never discussed in anyone else but what was going on in, in, in the home you know f you know food playtime games but I never heard of her, the name. You never heard them mention no, they Debbie Rowe at all. No. How do you think they will handle that situation? I think it would be great for them. They, you know, they should know their biological mother. You know, I think that would be great. It would be wonderful for Paris growing up as a young girl. You know, and for and for the the boys. You know, it's good to have a mother figure around. You know, that you'll know. I want to take you back to June 25th, a, a truly horrible day. Uh, you were at the Jackson home. For you, you came in every morning as a personal chef around 8, 8.30? Right, exactly. When did you realize that something wasn't quite right? Or when did you sense that this was not a, a normal day? Well, you know, I, um, I get the breakfast ready for the children in the morning around 8.30, like that, eight, 9 o'clock. And they're having breakfast, and time goes by, and putting everything together for them. And I'm looking around 10, 10.30, and normally the Dr. Murray, he would come down and... Dr. Conrad Murray, his, Conrad his personal Murray, doctor. Right. Would come down and retrieve maybe something for Mr. Jackson to start his day off with. Maybe one of the organic juices that I've made, granola with almond milk, something to start his day. But at this day, I didn't see that. So you know, the hours kept going, so I started to prepare the lunch. The lunch should be ready by you know, 1230 something so Mr. Jackson can have lunch with his children. Which before, was his normal. Which was his normal routine, you know, before he goes to the rehearsals. And um, so around 12 o'clock I look at my cell phone and it's, you know, okay, let me get ready for the, the lunch, you know, start preparing this lunch. And I wrap his, his, his plates for him, uh, Mr. Jackson, um, in saran wrap because he liked to be treated as if you were in a hotel, you know, served, you know, very special. And um, around 12 o'clock, 12, 12, 10, uh, Dr. Murray comes running down the stairs and into the kitchen, the stairwell went into the kitchen, he comes into the kitchen screaming, hurry, go get Prince, go get security. So he's frantic. He's frantic, yeah. And so I drop everything at that point and run into the den, which is not too far from, away from the kitchen. and get Prince, you know, Prince Hurry, you know, come with me, you know, something, Dr. Murray's screaming something may be wrong with your dad. As Prince goes and, and sees what Dr. Murray is asking at the stairs, and uh, Dr. Murray runs back upstairs. And with Prince following him? No, Prince was downstairs. Okay, so he didn't have, take Prince to no, the room, no, because no. we had heard stories of that. That did, that did no, not happen. No, I didn't see that, no, that did not happen. And so, you know, in a matter of minutes, minutes, you know, I see paramedics running up the stairs and um, security skipping stairs, just running up the stairs, you know, this is, you know, at that point, you could feel the energy change. You know, you could just you feel, mean? you know, it was a happy home, you know, there's music playing throughout the house, all, you know, just fireplaces roaring and beautiful laughter and this wasn't that, it just felt still. It just felt like it just didn't feel right, you know what I mean? So I, uh, you know, we're all panicking and wondering what's going on, you know, Paris is screaming and crying, Daddy, 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 you know, the kids want to know what's going on with their father. But they're being kept downstairs with you and, and the housekeeper and, and a nanny, I believe? And a nanny. And what are you all doing at so that moment? We're, so we're, 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 we're wondering what's going on. We, we, we come together in unity, we stand in a circle, we start holding hands and we start praying. You know, we're praying, dear God, please let Mr. Jackson be okay, you know. And, 
you know, we're sitting downstairs wondering, an hour goes by, and security comes to us and asks us, you know, at this point, we're asking that you leave the house, leave the premises. And we ask, is, is Mr. Jackson going to be okay? We're taking him to the hospital. So at this point, you don't know anything beyond that? We still that. didn't know. We still didn't know. We leave, and I hear, I'm driving in my car, I hear on KNX, Mr. Jackson's pronounced dead. What went through your mind when you heard that? I, I, I had to pull over. I had to pull over on the side of the road because it, it just, it, it's, it, why, who knew? I mean, I, I panicked and I was devastated and I started crying. You know, this was a lovely man. You know, this man was sensational. You know, it was a love to everyone. You know, everyone appreciated the man's, you know, generosity and his, you know, he's just a fabulous man, fabulous father to his I children. I want to ask you about that because, uh, and we'll go back to the, the days leading up to his, his death. You first joined the family in March of this year. Mm -hmm. You got a phone call that there was a, a client who needed somebody who could prepare healthy meals. You get the job and then you find out it's Michael Jackson. Right. I couldn't believe it. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I still feel that right now. You know, I, 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 I told him, you know, the, the person I was interviewing with, I thought the person I was interviewing with was the client, but it wasn't. Oh, sure, no problem. You know, my client, the client's going to love you. When can you start? Is what they said to me. And I said, you're not the client? And he said, he said, no, 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 this is who you'll be working for. And they gave me a business card. I said, you're kidding. You're kidding. No way. Am I being punked? Am I on <laughs> candied camera? You know, something like that. No, this is true. He wants you to come work for him. So you go to Michael Jackson's home, the home he is renting, and the person who interviews you there, or the people that interview you there first, it's not Michael Jackson. No. It's his children. It's the children. It's the children. And, you know, I get to the house, and the first per you know, into the house, and the first people I'm greeted by are these adorable kids, you know, that I had heard were anticipating my arrival. You know, they're like, we can't wait to meet her, can't wait to meet her. You know? And what did they ask you? What kind of questions? Oh, they were asking questions like, well, we like healthy food, you know, so smart, you know, so adorable. We like healthy food. Can you cook healthy? You know, what do you like to eat? We, we talked about everything from food to video games to animals, and we just created an instant bond right there. You know, so um, ice cream, candies, daddy only allows us to have sweets when we ask, so, it was, it was healthy living in that home. Yeah, now, a few yeah. days later, you met Michael. Uh, impression of him and, and him with his children. We are seeing video today of, of him with his kids taken back at Neverland. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering what, what your impression of, of, of them was. You know, he spent a lot of time with his children's lunches and dinners, you know, at the dinner tables. I would pre prepare the meals, and he would always make it om great ambiance in the dining room for him. Maybe turn the, the lights down with the twinkling lights, turn up the music. Maybe we're listening to K Earth, K -Earth 101 or listening to rock and roll while they're dining. Or in the daytimes, you know, he would have maybe some of the art that he, he enjoyed to, 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 that he collected. And he'd have it around the uh, dining room. So the kids had an impression of the way they were eating in a museum. What, is, what did he um, say to you about what he felt your mission should be there? Why was it important for him to have you there? I know he was building up for this tour. Yeah, yeah. you know, I, I started in March, and I was let go in May. I was let go in May, um, only to return back in the, in the beginning of June, top of June. And the third day there, Mr. Jackson he says, he, 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 can I speak with you? So. I meet with him in the hallway, and he says, I know you know what you're doing. You know, I, I know you're good at what you do. I need you to keep me healthy, you know. I'm going to stop right there because we're going to take a break, but you left again. Um, you left in May for three weeks because of sort of a disagreement with, uh, I guess, a contract problem. Mm -hmm. We find it. Yeah. And, but you did come back, and when you came back in June, you saw a slightly different Michael Jackson, even though it was just three weeks between the last time you had seen him. We're going to pick up there when we come back in our next half hour. Okay. Kai Chase, thank you so much. Okay.